Hello everybody and welcome to another alt art tier list video. This time we are looking at Fusion Strike and we've got a lot more cards to look at this time, which is uh, I think a lot more exciting. <laughs> I want to keep these videos kind of short, but at the same time I think I've got a lot to say about some of these cards, so let's get straight into it, shall we? First up is Celebi V. Celebi V I might be a little bit biased on because uh, it is the only, I think, alt art card that I pulled from Fusion Strike. It is such a nice looking card though. Um, one thing I should say, and I didn't really say this in the last two videos, is realistically these images don't do them justice. Actually seeing them as physical cards really does make a difference. So again, it might be biased. This is a really cool card. Um, I said before I don't like it when there's not a lot going on and it's a bit boring looking. For me, straight away with the clashes of colours of like the green from Celebi and stuff like that on the background of purples, that is really cool looking. I love that there's a swirl following Celebi where uh, Celebi has brought new life to the tree. It's a beautiful looking card and it's straight up to A tier. Next up is Espeon VMAX. What's not to like about this card? It is uh, a giant Espeon, as is the clue from the VMAX, the Dynamax uh, effective going on it. And it's just asleep on a house. Now... The real question is, whose Espeon is it? Because if it's the homeowner's, that's fair enough. That's fine. Not a problem. If it's anybody else's, that's causing property damage, which is a little bit um, illegal. That's the one. Um, points to be added or deducted also because there are wingles on the card. Sorry, Murdo. Um, I really like this card. It's got a good aesthetic, but the aspect of property damage is a little bit upsetting. So for Espeon VMAX, it is uh, also an A tier. Next up, Gensect V. What's not to like about this card? First of all, you got a guest appearance from Smeagol. Never bad thing. Uh, there's a trash can in the background as well, which I assume means Oscar the Grouch could also be in that card somewhere. But the main part... Gensect V is breakdancing. What has breakdancing got to do with Gensect V? Who knows? Do I appreciate it though? Hell yeah. Gensect V, fantastic breakdancing. It's just incredible. What more can you say about this card? Purple? Love purple. So, Gensect V, S tier. Next up, Gengar V Max. Man, it is so hard not to love this card. Um, I'm a big fan of the Gig Gigantamax Gengar anyway. I love it, the fact that it just becomes a ginormous mouth, like a scary, you know, haunted house ride on a carnival or something like that. I'm not so much a fan of the art style as I am the actual art subject, if that makes sense. Like, if this was done in another style, I think I would immediately throw it up to S tier. The art style for me, and again, this is my only op own opinion, the art style for me kind of lets it down a little bit, but the subject is fantastic. I love it so much. Uh, Gengar VMAX is an A tier. Next up, Greedent V. This is a really cool card. I, I don't fully understand what's going on here. Have they knock down a tree and start eating the berries is the green v being carried around like a king while the squiver just like you know or it's not paul bear is that's not the right phrase but you know what i mean they're not carrying him or they are carrying him. i don't know what's going on but i love it it's a very cute card um and it has nothing to do with the art style itself but the, i this card will always have a special place in my heart because it's got an attack called nom 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 incisors <laughs> I love it so much. Um, other than that, there's not too much going on. It's a bit of a, a plainer looking art style, um, but it's still a really nice card, uh, but I think it's going to have to go for a B tier. Next up, Intellion VMAX. I've said before, I love uh, an example of like a battle scene or something like that. This is the look of Intellion sniping from a tower. It is a cool look. I love the idea of it. I love the Gigantamax Intellion. The problem for me is the colors kind of all blend together a little bit. The Intellion, you know, the water and Intellion itself, very blue against the blue background. There are highlights in like the Dynamax clouds and the, the, the pink beams and stuff, but it's, it's not entirely clear at first glance what's going on. Um, that might be a me issue, but because of that, it kind of knocks it down to a C tier. Next up, Mu V. I said it was uh, the only alt card I had from this set was Celebi V, but we absolutely have this too. It's in, in the background behind, but you won't be able to see it. Um, I quite enjoy this card. The, it does have the slight issue, again, of like colors kind of blending together a little bit. Um, it's taken me like a lot of staring at this card to figure out what's going on. There's a Toxtricity there. Not the good one. The Toxel. There's a Smeagol again. I think it might be following a Hooper V. I'm not sure. It's a really, really nice card. I really like it. Um... But the kind of blending of stuff together is kind of 
Like, it makes it a little bit hard to see what's going on, in my mind. But it, it's a really nice art style, really nice card. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put Mew V into... Into, into B tier. Yeah, into B tier. Next up, Mew V Max. Now, I've not had a good chance to look at this card before, but um, I kind of judge things on a first glance. I don't think that's an unfair thing to do. This card to me, and I've looked at it so many times, and I just look at it and go, that just looks like a normal art, or a normal style of art for a V Max Pokemon. Now that I'm looking at it a bit more, there is a little bit more going on. You know, I, I'm not entirely sure what's going on in the background. I think there's like a, a, there's a there's a phone booth there and maybe a London taxi or something. But for me, it doesn't. I, it's it's weird to say because VMAX cards I think are quite special. They are really nice looking just generally. But I don't think this is a spe this don't this doesn't look like a special alternate art card. So this is going to be the first D tier of the series. And finally, Sandaconda V. Sandaconda V is a really interesting looking card again i don't know if i'm a fan of like the art style itself but it's it, it's fine it's again i don't think there's a lot going on on this one it's just a sandaconda v asleep next to a radiator for some reason i don't really and the team yell grunt in the background i don't understand the relevance of what's going on here it is an it's a nice card and it does look like an alt art card unlike previously mentioned but it's not Especially special, if that makes sense. Uh, I think I'm going to put Sandaconda V into C tier. There we have it, the first D tier of the series. And uh, yeah, some really nice looking cards. These may get slight adjustments when I do the final, like, all the alt cards all together, big tier list. But for now, I'm quite happy with this order. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Thank you very much for checking out the series so far. Please let me know if you're enjoying it. And let me know if there's any other series you want me to do as well. Um, there's plenty more little versions of things that I could look at for a smaller tier maker video and I'm quite happy to do more of them because again tier maker videos are fun if you enjoyed this please leave me a like and sub it would really help the channel out of course and social media links are in the description below but for now thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next one see ya